Hey there everyone, welcome back, it's new, and we're getting ready to start maps number 801 to 900, getting near the end of this 1000 Crimson Temple map run. Uh, you caught me in a good mood, I gotta work tomorrow, but then I got a massive vacation coming up uh, just before the league start, which means it should be very easy for me to finish up this 1000 map and get that big conclusion video out to you as well as... Um, the build guide for Soul Thirst, Dead Eye, Tornado Shot, in case you're wondering what I'm starting next league. Essentially, we've confirmed that that uh, build that I did this past league was not really nerfed in any significant way, at least not specific to the build. And so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, tinkering around with that. But I gotta get these maps out of the way first. And we're looking at the dump tab here with even more, once again, even more currency inserted than usual uh, exalted orbs uh, now at 131 to 1 ratio and the sextons gone up a little bit uh, the scarabs kind of just staying around the same I basically have enough materials to finish out the last 200 maps here I already got a nice selection of crimson temple maps all eight mod corrupted to start with uh, sentinels in place all having sentinel rewards some of them have more than just sentinel rewards uh, and that is how we're going to start this off, just like every other time. I suppose uh, I'll entertain you by saying I did a find an apothecary four maps ago, because I found it on the 97th map of the last session. That was my first one for the run, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully going to have a bit better RNG <laughs> than I had last time. Just to confirm with you, you can see here the uh, starting costs... I'm not up to that just yet. Have been duped. <laughs> wow, my, uh... What, what in the world? My excellence is uh, Johnny on the spot here. Apparently reset the filter with the exact flawless timing. So I have to come back in here and do this over again. Hold on. Okay, I gotta fix this. Very slight issue here. I'm gonna bring you down to the dump tabs with excellence open. Now this should provide the proper amount, 36.18 exalts. You can see all the exalted orbs of chaos are in there. And we're gonna put that number right here. My mana is gone. In slight fluctuations in cost per map. Uh, it's cost me around 40, I think right now, around 46 chaos per map. It's always been like 45 to 48 chaos per map, uh, regardless of how I cut it. So that's what we're looking at right now. I'm going to time these runs. I've been running at 6 hours and 45 minutes because I've been doing a little bit of chatting. It kind of makes a difference. It depends on whether or not I'm chatting with the live stream or not. And that depends on whether you guys are in the live stream or not. <laughs> And for the session that you are, you know, it's, it takes a little bit longer time to do the run. But we're going to run Domination. Got our map in here. Starting with a nice pretty Beyond map. Kind of like how I usually do it. Uh, oh my goodness. Come on, computer. There we go. All right. We're back in good form. Timer on. And... You're off. This is map number 801, and I'm dead. Awkward. Sometimes happens, can't really be helped uh, on a map that's kind of rough. If they can manage to kill me before I get a few headhunter buffs. Although I'm a little disturbed that they killed me before I even spawned the influence by the looks of it. Maybe. I believe I had even grabbed a shrine effect when that happened. So the Delhi mirror is a little bit behind now. I can help stop it by killing a harbinger and opening the essence. And those two things will help. Did I get movement speed or am I just kinda feels like I got movement speed but kinda doesn't. A little odd. Thank 
five. What is that monster count? That is a lot of maps. Assassin, as you can see, is not letting me go where I want. That might have been an enlightened. Just avoid. If I get an altar with the duplication effect on currency, I usually pick that one if it's towards the end of the map. So it has a chance to duplicate currencies dropped from monsters to come out of strong boxes. Otherwise, the map is more or less already cleared. As you can see, still not picking up the loot. I want to focus on Harbingers and, and monsters, keeping the Rampage stacks up. And, well, there's the Enlightened. Huh. Came in after all. Okay, and now we're basically looting. I think there's about a couple strong boxes maybe left. Yep, there's one. Oh. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I just noticed right at the last second that I basically ruined my Stalker Sentinel. Don't do that. I was going to use it now, but the timer actually ran out. Everything ran out with 147 minions left. I just looked at it in the blink of an eye, and it... Yeah, I could have used it all right here in these strong boxes, but... I guess that's the, uh, what happens on a warm-up map sometimes. You just kind of forget what you're supposed to be doing. My mana is gone. These gloves of nullification, tier 1 suppression rolls, have been selling quite a bit recently. I think people heeded the warning of Suppression rolls being reduced on gear and are trying currently to craft some really excellent standard gear, perhaps. They also, this is also their last chance, more or less, to, you know, double up temple mods and stuff like that on gloves. So it looks like uh, recombinator based gloves are selling rather hot right now, but that doesn't mean they're worth an X or whatever. So I will be keeping recombinator bases over here, but they gotta be worth at least, like, an exalt or more uh, for me to really factor that in. Cool beans, we got a one divination card already on map number one. Here comes map number two. Well, hey there everyone. Kind of returning from a break. It's getting ready to start the stream and I figured I'd go ahead and showcase one of these pretty little level five enlightened supports I got three last time and kind of show you just how much money <laughs> I make from this. To be fair, I sold the other two for a little less, but uh, this one, 330x. Cost me around 70x to buy. Still sells for 20x if it bricks, by the way. So at a 1 to 4 ratio of going up, I mean, you do the math. That's a stupid amount of profit. Huge. Absolutely huge. That's fun. I think it's actually worth something. Oh! Oh my goodness. How did that drop? What? Hunter influence? Vermilion ring? No, I think that's actually worth something. Last I knew, that was basically worth the cost of a hunter exalted orb. Well, damn. Damn. Well, I can't be from an eldritch monster. Or elder monster. Could that have been from a sentinel reward? I don't think so. Oh, wait. It might be, do I have a jewelry reward on here? No, I don't have any jewelry rewards, so I don't... 
don't know what that's from. I've never seen that. It's not like uh, conquer influenced items normally gonna come up on the loot filter, but high value one might. That's just a leftover thing in the back there. Red star out of sight. That's that's good good mojo by the way when that happens. Let's go see what it is right now. Seven years bad luck. Well I mean that is a that is a, a good red star. It's not the best, but it's good. I'll take it. I'll take that seven years bad luck. Honestly, it's like the most exciting way to get a high value donation card when it like drops three screens away, forward of where you haven't even been yet. <laughs> and you're just like still running over that direction. And you're like, what can it be? What can it be? and then an Arcana Strongbox, but the Exalt Orb actually came off with monsters from inside there. Quite confident. I'm not up to that just yet. And we just finished leveling a new set of gems. Already got a couple... What? Another Red... Another Exalt Orb? Oh, this map is something else. I gotta be careful and make sure I use all the stalker up. Red star, exalted orb again. Oh, I just exalted orbs every time. Almost. Seven years bad luck just came out. Bad. Already found two of these now. Seven years. We got three of these now pretty early on. Say we're ahead of schedule on that card. Really didn't want to drop last session. But back to our usual shenanigans now. Another seven years bad luck. Just had one last map. Oh, that's like four in, in less than 20 maps. I think. That is really something. Only one enlightened so far. The first card on the very first map was an enlightened. That was just seven years bad luck all the way. At the end of the league when <laughs> mirrors are at their highest value. Man. That's nice. A little bit of a rough start here. This is your getting any drops.
What did I just say? I just said something a second ago, right? Complain and ye shall or oh, complain and the game shall give it you an apothecary. Yeah, I really don't complain that much in these runs, I feel like. Usually like out, once out of every 10 runs, I'll make like a complaint like that. It's not that often. It's not like I'm complaining the entire time. <laughs> the first time I've even made that comment in like 15 runs or something. And just immediately after. Boom. Well, there is a carry number one in 40 maps. 35, 40 maps, something like that. Not too shabby, not too shabby. At least, at least I feel like I have a chance of getting three in 100 maps. Kind of my goal here for the last couple of sessions. In my opinion. Salter's amulet, what's up? So good. It's been a hot minute since I've seen one of those. Mm -hmm. Divination altars, though. <laughs> Enlighten. Well, that hard is way the hell overdue. Getting here a map number 70. 78? Or, sorry, 68, I guess. Go ahead and uh, seen more than one enlighten. Just wondering where they were at. Second apothecary in 100 maps, well before the deadline of 200 maps. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now in the running of a possible three apothecaries in 100 maps, which has yet to happen in over 800 maps. That would be exciting if it did. Well, it has happened off stream. <laughs> much less than 100 maps actually, but that's besides the point. Another path carry, oh yes. I'm not up to that just yet. Oh my god, two unique Apex Sentinels with a sacred weapon. Where are these jobs, man? And three recombinators. Real. Jeez. Do you students know that you stream or play Path of Exile or generally play a lot of online games? Yeah, I tell I tell students sometimes. But if it comes up in conversation that I do this on the side. Uh, then they ask, you know, what it is. I mean, a lot of times it's volunteer to show them on the phone. Seven years bad luck. Whoa. Then 
they, they don't really think much of it because you might not be aware that Japanese people don't really play PC games. Very rare. It is like, it's unbelievably unpopular. <laughs> Japanese people play video games. You, know, you can bet on that, but they don't. They're playing phone games and Nintendo and PlayStation. They, like, they don't play Xbox either. So it's like, so it's Nintendo, PlayStation, or phone. And that's it. Those are the three that they play. And good luck introducing anything else to them. to evade that card for quite a while. <laughs> Getting uh, slightly better cards. I'm not up to that oh, that money is out. No bullets in the chamber. Looking for that third apothecary, but I keep getting the other cards. Map number 96. Coming in with the sixth seven years bad luck. Six or seven. Which is pretty good for them. After this map. Last map. Map number 100. Let's. Could it happen on the 100th map? Could the third apothecary reveal itself? Third apothecary drop. It's gonna be so huge if it is. Abandoned weapon. It even had an uppercase A on it. God, I saw the A too. My mind is effed right now. Oh my god. I literally read the A. It looked like it was proper text length. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so tilted. <clears throat> well, I guess this is the end. We're at the end of the road, Jack. It was a good session. I mean, you know, it was... Wow. Another unique Apex 
something on. It was a good session. Got a lot. Uh, 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 uh. That is the most bittersweet apothecary drop. What is that? Like in the last? That's like. I'm not up to that just yet. God only knows how many total monsters I've killed in this hundred map session. My There's literally gone. not like any more than fifty monsters left on the entire map. Actually, maybe a hundred monsters. A lot of monsters right there. <laughs> it's gotta be like... I must have been like 99.999% of the way done with this hunter map session. On that third apothecary drop. What in the world? <laughs> yes! I can say it finally happened. Three apothecary drops. Three different apothecary drops. No duplicates. In 100 maps. Oh, it makes me so happy I can actually post that on as such. It is done. What What a wild ride that last map was. I am gonna absolutely post that entire map on the highlight reel. <laughs> All of it. Oh my god. Hey hey hey. Take a look at that. It only took me 900 runs to do it. Three apothecaries in a 100 map session. Happened just in the nick of time. Oh my goodness, that was an incredible final map. That was easily going to be the most memorable map <laughs> of the entire 1000 session. That uh, The 900th map of this. Never going to forget that. Uh, so there it is, three mage bloods, and I'm going to tell you about the rest of the results. Like we always do. Uh, whoo, crack 300 exalts. 300 exalts, wow. First time I've seen that. 300x total in the bank. Right now, 311. Uh, we've got three apothecaries. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of recombinators, somewhere around 360, 370 recombinators. 15 exalted orbs, pretty good. Seven, or sorry, six, seven years bad luck is also decent, probably pretty average. Um, by the way, I'm beginning to think seven years bad luck, probably about three or four times as rare as, or as common as Apothecary. So you can see that I only doubled uh, the seven years bad luck, so that's a pretty obvious indicator that... Uh, three apothecaries and 100 maps is more than I should be getting uh, on average. But, of course, in one particular session, it, it ought to happen. Um, let's continue down here. Uh, where where are the Enlightens? <laughs> they're not even on the list. <laughs> you know why they're not on the list? Because I actually found more apothecaries than I found Enlightens. <laughs> That's... Super effed up. Now, I usually find like 8 or 9 or 10 Enlightens in 100 maps. So, uh, definitely got the shaft on the Enlightens. So, that's fine. That's how the RNG swings. Uh, for this one, only one Dragon Heart. So, I mean, this is just complete. This is like the complete opposite of the last uh, 100 map session. Basically, what we're seeing here. That's kind of nutty. And uh, kind of awesome. So, with the Uniques... Uh, wow, it is counting this. Uh, I, I did get, at the very end of that map, I did get a Delirium 6-link unique reward that is actually worth something. Uh, the Covenant, I guess. Some chest. Uh, I had a double drop Light of the Lunars at one point and just a bunch of junk. <laughs> Basically. Nothing else in there. Um, so, let's tally it up. Here we go. Total investment cost 36.18 exalts. We're going to start this like we always do. 0.29. Uh, now, I did not fully level uh, Awaken Multi Strike supports. You can see they're level 4 if you kind of look behind the calculator there. Uh, they're almost hit level 5. So, yeah, like once every 400 map or once every 4 map sessions, I got to uh, not get those. But I do have uh, 6 
awaken exceptional gems down here on the right, including four awaken enlightened supports. That'll be fun to see that after coming off the incredible uh, double corrupting RNG I had last time. Uh, so those are worth one X apiece. <laughs> Y'all like for real? They're worth like four X apiece <laughs> right now. But uh, staying true to the formula from the start, worth one X apiece uh, according to here. So that's an additional. 12 exalts then we also have recombinator bases which actually there's more than usual here including one exalted amulet uh, let's take a count here we got four five six seven eight nine 13 14 15 16 17 18 25 25 well even more than usual there. So that's 25 exalts from recombinator bases that are all worth around an exalt or more. In some cases, much more. Plus 12 exalts from the gems. Giving me a bonus 37 exalts. Well, wouldn't you know that basically, again, like always, just covers the cost of the investment. It, it always basically works out that way. Uh, kind of weird. Oh, uh, so the gross is going to be the number from excellence on over there, which, by the way, is not counting blueprints. It's not counting. It's not counting that hunter influence vermilion ring that I found, which is worth almost two x. It didn't. It didn't count the elder influence fingerless gloves I found actually last time either, which was worth over two x. So that was interesting to see, uh, unable to count those. But it can count the Sixth Link Covenant. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Uh. Gonna put the gross in there too. Okay, so we take the net, 12.11. Now, again, it's kind of chatting with... Uh, I've kind of stopped being quite so hardcore about the efficiency and kind of relaxing a little bit. So again, it's six, uh, 6.45 approximately. And uh, wouldn't you know, we almost cracked 50x an hour <laughs> for this other map session. Wow. Okay. Uh, 40x an hour. 40.38. Uh, might turn a few heads, but eh, maybe not because it's very end of the league. The... Prices, fluctuation, things are kind of wonky. It's a very good session on top of that. So we'll get that plugged in. And next up is, of course, the gambling portion. Now, I have a few Darius's Defiance here because I'm basically done. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving up on uh, uh, getting the Cloak of Tom plus one. I, I do have three. I'm going to double corrupt. But I figured after this 1,000 map session done, the only other thing I really care to check is is that uh, to see if I can fit that extra uh, Herald of Ash into my build subbing out um, blood and sand um, possibly it should I should theoretically be able to do that uh, with an impossible escape helping me out there uh, so I will you know just for funsies double crop some Darius's Defiant definitely not gonna make profit out of those um, not really caring that much about profit Oh, thank you. Actually, uh, somebody's correcting me here in the chat. Well, you guys chat. You, you're keeping me up to date. I hope I didn't do that uh, once before. So apparently I did the calculation wrong here. So it took 45 minutes. In the thing, yeah. Yeah, my head got confused with 45 minutes versus uh, 45 percent. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you there, Deadwater, for correcting me there. Correction, 46 exalts per hour. A little less. Is gone. Tiny bit less. Okay. Not up to that just yet. Now, let's get on to the gambling portion. Gambling portion is done, and the results are in a perfect picture balanced ups and downs for the gems three down three up oh wouldn't you know it got lucky again uh the enlightens favored the ups and then i had six stay the same that's exactly as all things should be although this technically should be what it looks like right here but uh no i think i'll go ahead and take my 
blessings where I get them. <laughs> so that is the gem. Just, I mean, just that that's just an absolute monstrosity of currency I made there. I easily made a mirror, uh, one mirror right there, uh, in that <laughs> moment. From there, as far as double corruptions on the items, locus of chambers. Once again, not actually terribly unlucky. I only got one successful double corruption. Three uh, that came out got more poofs than anything. Yeah, and once again, no cloak of toms with plus one socketic gems. I this is basically I'm basically giving up at this point. I don't think I'm gonna find it. No, don't think there's any way I'm gonna get it. Um, I would pay a thousand exalts <laughs> for it right now. I would literally just give the game a thousand exalts if it could just trade in a thousand exalts for a plus one socketed cloak, so I could actually experience this um, setup I wanted to change. But uh, no, too late in the, in the league now anyway. So lost cause. Um, yeah, so I'll figure out a way to get uh, Daros's Defiance plus one and maybe test some things out that way. Uh, we still got 100 maps left to do, but before we get to the final 100 maps, we've got the stack deck gamble. I know this is the least exciting part for everybody at this point because, you know, never seem to get an amazing card. Although, if I'm not mistaken, last. Oh, interesting, a nurse drop. Uh, last time. I made currency on this. I see the nurse card all the time on the stack decks, usually off stream. <laughs> it sure does seem to be actually a pretty common card. I feel. The Enlightened also seems to drop a lot <laughs> as a stacked deck card. Yeah, it's definitely got some making up to do here because I only found two Enlightens in the last hundred maps. That is woefully undercount. Uh, someone is setting chat to PM the guy who has that cloak. Uh, I did. I PM'd him. I PM'd him on, on Discord even. Didn't respond on either. So, I don't know. It's just being... Uh, I'm not up to that just yet. Is that what I think it is? Did that finally happen? Yo. I think it's safe to say I made money on this uh, stack deck gamble. The least exciting one. Of course, yeah. of course when I say that, this time. What is this RNG? This, this is not the time to be getting RNG like this. I want, I want this for next league start. Not... <laughs> House of Mirrors. House of Mirrors and, and another red star? What? I don't even know what this is. 45 chaos. Nothing special. Well, I think this is going to be the screenshot for the, for the run. It kind of has to be now with that... Uh, with that on there. <laughs> oh, jeez. So let me get this straight. I got three apothecaries in 100 maps, made 46 exalts an hour. I got two enlightens to go up, made something like a bonus 500x there, and I got a house of mirrors out of 220. How much currency did I even make <laughs> on this 100 map session? That, that's just... What? What is this card worth? 84... Actually, it's not even right. 90 exalts. 90 exalt. I almost made a thousand exalts in a hundred maps. I almost net profited a thousand exalts in a hundred maps. Almost. <laughs> well, that just happened. Should probably, uh,. Proper screenshot, huh? Give a little screenshot love. Okay. Well, my friends, um, apparently last hundred maps gamble had 
got nothing on this. Um, although that's not true, actually, uh, because getting three out of four Awaken Enlightened supports and no House of Mirrors is actually way more profitable than getting two out of four Awaken Enlightened supports and a House of Mirror. So actually, the House of Mirrors is kind of trash compared to just getting the, th the third Awaken <laughs> Enlightened support up. That's how, man, that's, that's some pretty crazy stakes that I'm going with that here. Uh, I think I'm going to put this to the side because I'm just going to sell it. Everything else can go in here. I definitely got to clean out my divination tab here. Well, folks, that is the end of maps 801 to 900. One hell of a run. My mana is gone. The next 100 will be coming out actually very soon because I'm now off. Uh, this is terrific start. First day of a long vacation. Uh, <laughs> day couldn't have really went any better than it did. So with that, goodbye and good night. <laughs>Oh, about a heart. Thank you. Okay. It's an odd sort of garden in this map. All right, this is for you. Last second gamble. House of Mirrors. Not to be double or nothing. This way, exile. Go. <laughs> okay. And I don't have any more, so yeah, I guess I guess I'll just sell them. <laughs> Still not worth as much as that extra enlighten, <laughs> awaken enlighten support up. Well, that will be where I conclude the stream. I, you know, it's so stupid. I, I had I double or nothing an apothecary a couple times, like two months ago. I could have really used that RNG there. <laughs>